When the Illinois starting quarterback goes down, who do the Illini turn to? MJ, don't call me Michael Jordan, Rivers. A.J. Bush left the game on Saturday night in the first half. He was replaced by the true freshman quarterback. Rivers came out firing, throwing two touchdowns to Edwin Carter, giving the Illini a 14-7 lead. He held on to that lead the rest of the night on the way to the 34-14 win. He finished 9 for 16 through the air for 105 yards and those two scores. I think I did pretty decent, but I can always do better. I know I'll go back and look at this film, see the corrections I need to make and move forward with them. You know, I've always I've always been told prepare like you're the starter. So no matter who is in or whatever, always prepare who like you're the starter because in a snap you can be up. You know, as a freshman when you call the phone, like we called on MJ Rivers, uh, thought he showed a lot of poise, made throws that he needed to. Let's jump right into our recap. Robert Rosenthal, IlliniBoard.com. If you want to read his game recap, any of his stuff, A.J. Bush goes down with an injury and steps the true freshman, M.J. Rivers. What do you think? Uh, a pleasant surprise, probably. You know, when, when he committed, he was probably known more as a thrower than a runner, and we heard that Rod Smith was going to run the offense through a quarterback who's going to, you know, spark the run game that way. So it was a bit of a surprise. You know, at camp, maybe Robinson was a little bit ahead of, of the three freshmen. But, you know, came in, the, the two touchdown passes to Edwin Carter just sparked the offense, you know, brought him back from trailing early. That was, it was a pleasant surprise, I'm sure, for the coaches that. And it's only fitting days after the backup Cam Thomas leaves the program, you need your backup quarterback. Yeah, it's, it's crazy how that works. I mean, we've seen so many quarterbacks leave this program in the last four years, yeah. and so many of them maybe would have had a chance if they stuck it out as other guys get injured and leave and everything else. So it's just how it, it seems to go. The cycle continues to turn through quarterbacks, and as some leaves, other guys are going to step up. The depth being tested, not just at quarterback, um, overall. Uh, injury suspensions yeah everything. yeah I think specifically wide receiver and secondary in the secondary you know in the second half it was mostly two walk-ons and two freshmen in in the secondary Stanley Green was rotating in and out he was the only veteran there and then it's guys who were probably coming into the fall were going to be second string or even third string so um, I, that'll hold up against Western Illinois I don't know if that's yeah. going to hold up against uh, Penn State in a couple weeks but um, yeah they they are really being tested at those positions Robert, thank you. Here are some other news from news and notes from the weekend. Ten players in all made their Illini debut on Saturday. One of those ten was Nolan Burnett. He uh, also had his first career interception in the game. Two players were ejected during the game. Kirby Joseph in the first half, then Cam Watkins for targeting in the second half. Watkins will miss the first half of the South Florida game this weekend because of that ejection.